Hi, I'm Anna Khan. I'm an ear, nose and throat consultant based in London and I specialise in treating problems related to the nose. In this video, I'll talk to you about septorhinoplasty surgery, which is an operation performed to reshape the nose and improve nasal breathing. So, let's start with the structure of the nose. The framework of the nose is made of bone and cartilage. The upper portion is bone and the lower portion is primarily cartilage. The outer structure of the nose is made up of three pairs of structures, nasal bones, upper lateral cartilage and lower lateral cartilage. Inside the nose, there is a thin wall that divides the nose into two passages left and right. It is called the nasal septum. The septum is made up of cartilage at the front and bone towards the back. The septum can be straight in many patients, but it can also be deviated to one side or the other causing breathing difficulties. Many patients with a deviated septum do not notice any problems with their nose and therefore do not need surgery. However, some people have difficult breathing through their nose, either through one side or both sides, and surgery can be offered to them to help improve breathing. Most people with a deviated nasal septum have a straight appearance of the nose from the outside. However, sometimes there can also be an external bend or twists in the nose as well. Surgery to straighten a deviated septum can often be performed through an operation called a nasal septoplasty, which does not change the outside shape of the nose. Please see my video about nasal septoplasty for more information about that operation. However, when the nasal septal deviation is very severe, or there is a deviation of the external appearance of the nose, or the problem is due to one of the pairs of outer structures of the nose, Patients may benefit from an operation called an external septorhinoplasty or closed septorhinoplasty to improve their nasal breathing and straighten the appearance of the nose. This surgery can be undertaken to change any aspect of the shape of the nose to improve the appearance for cosmetic reasons as well. But in this video, I'll focus on septorhinoplasty surgery to improve breathing through the nose. Septorhinoplasty, which is also sometimes called a nose job, changes the appearance of the nose by altering the external framework of the nose and in addition straightening a deviated septum. Functional septorhinoplasty is not just about improving the nose's appearance but importantly it's about correcting structural issues that affect breathing. This operation is usually performed under general anaesthetic but some surgeons can perform the surgery with sedation. The procedure can be done either as an open or closed technique, and one isn't necessarily better than the other. It depends on the surgeon's experience and preference, as well as the patient's preference, and importantly, the specific structure of the patient's nose, and therefore a decision regarding which approach is best is made between the surgeon and the patient together. With a closed or endonasal septorhinoplasty, the incisions are made just inside the nostril, and they're not visible from the outside. With an open or external septorhinoplasty, the surgeon makes a very small, careful cut on the underside of the tip of the nose, and the skin of the nose is then lifted up to access the underlying structures. So this is an operation that I commonly perform, and during this operation, I will cut, reposition, remove and replace parts of the bone and cartilage to straighten the septum and reshape the nose to improve breathing. The incisions are then closed with sutures and the surgery is typically completed within one to two hours depending on the complexity of the operation. Usually dressings and a plaster cast are placed on the outside of the nose to protect the surgical site and allow the nose to heal in the correct way and in the correct shape. Sometimes small plastic sheets are placed called nasal splints inside the nose and both the external cast and internal splints are removed usually at one to two weeks after the operation. Functional septorhinoplasty is a very transformative operation for many patients, improving both the function and the appearance of the nose. But if you're considering this surgery, it's hugely important you discuss your expectations and any concerns with your surgeon and therefore get personalised advice depending on your specific condition. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video useful.